Jesus entered Jericho and was passing through, and there was a man named Zacchaeus. He was a chief tax collector and rich, and he sought to see who Jesus was, but could not on the account of the crowd, because he was small of stature. So he ran on ahead and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass by that way. When Jesus came to that place, he looked up and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for I must stay at your house today. So he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. When they saw it, they all murmured, He has gone into that guest to be a guest of a, of a man who is a sinner. When Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I have defrauded anyone of anything, I will restore it fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, since he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man came to seek and to save what's lost. Shuha. لا لها من In the name of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is good. All the time. Well, today is the last day of our summer camp. Let's give them a big hand. Yes. Well, let's give the volunteers a big hand. Your volunteers, your parents, and everyone who worked so hard for you to be here today. Now, definitely, definitely we will miss your hosa around here. You guys were such a hosa, but a beautiful hosa, which I like all the time to hear. I mean, we will like, we will also remember you blocking our parking lot, which we liked. No complaints, no complaints, which is good. This journey of summer camp, you had one thing in mind, how to be a friend with Jesus. Who wants to be a friend with Jesus here? Oh, you guys are included too. Yes. So we are seeking one thing and one thing only, to be friends with Jesus. And... Friendship with Jesus is got to change us somehow. 
A lot of you have learned through your journey of summer camp and Christian journey, of course, how to get closer and closer and closer to God. I'm sure you learned all about Jesus, right? You learned everything that you could learn for one reason and one purpose, how to get close to Him. Now today's gospel talks about a beautiful, beautiful story. It was from the gospel of Luke. Yes, was the gospel from the gospel of Luke. What happens in the gospel of Luke? So there was a man named Zacchaeus. This man, he was short. And he was trouble. He heard about Jesus. He just heard about Jesus. Jesus is a good man, right? Just like a lot of your friends sometimes hear about Jesus in school, right? And I hope when you go home, you preach to your parents and tell them what you know about Jesus. He heard about Jesus, but he had a problem, two problems actually. First problem was he was short. And you know, when Jesus walked in the city, there were a lot of people around him. So because he was short, he could not see Jesus. He could not see Jesus. And sometimes when we are short, we could not see in front of our eyes, right? So we ask mom and dad, mom, 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 pick us up, please, pick us up. I want to see what's going on there, right? And mom goes like, oh, you're so heavy, I can't even pick you up. This was the first problem. The second problem, this Zacchaeus man, not a lot of people liked him in the city because he had done some bad, bad things. Have you ever done bad things? Eh, yeah, sometimes we all do. And we think once we do bad things, of course our parents say, you know what, you are grounded. I'm going to take that Xbox away from you. No, no PlayStation for you for seven years. Of course, they would never do that. Now, what happened? This man who was short and was not very liked because he had done some bad things and people did not like him. He heard about Jesus. What did he want to do? He said, like, you know what? I got to go and see who's, who this Jesus is. The same reason you're here. The same reason you are here. This applies to you, to you, to you, to you, and to me. Right? We gotta know who this Jesus is. So this Zacchaeus, right? He ran, ran. Because of the crowd, he could not see Jesus. What did he do? He climbed a tree. He went up on the tree. Can you imagine me? An old man right it says he was rich to climb a tree like if you see one of your if you see your father or grandfather or ammu or khalu climbing a tree and sitting on the tree like that's like uh what are you doing there come down because it was ab right how many times do you heard this word ab you cannot do that ab eba you know, you've heard that before. So what happened with this man? He says, like, you know what? I am not caring about what people say. I know I'm short. And what ab? He goes, like, as long as I go and see Jesus and I meet him, nothing else matters. So he did. He forget everything around him. He ran, right, went to the tree and climbed. And some people probably were look, giving him that look. Uh, Zacchaeus, we don't like you. And what are you doing there? How many times you actually, you have some friends or relatives or someone in your family or someone close to you says like, I don't like you. I don't want to be your friend anymore. And how many times people tell you, oh, I don't want to go. Why are you going to church? Stay here. And how many times actually we say, 
I don't want to go to church because I'm busy with something. I don't want to go and see Jesus. How many times? You were tired and half asleep, oh. right? And you did not want to come to summer camp. No, I like that. I like that. And this journey will continue. Catechism will come. And every week of your life, every week of your life, every day of your life, you have to do the same thing over and over and over again to say, well, I'm not listening to anyone because I know what I want and I want to be close to him and I want to be his friend and his friend only. Sometimes, because of Jesus, right? Because of our beliefs in Jesus, right? Some, sometimes people don't like us and that's okay. People did not like the apostles. People did not like Zacchaeus. Even if he had done, he has done some bad things, but he said, you know what? All of that does not matter because I know he loves me no matter what. Now the question is to all of you. Do you believe? Do you believe that Jesus loves you? Now we can do better than that. Do you believe that Jesus loves you? And that's exactly, that's exactly what you need to keep reminding yourself with. Even if you hear, you know what? No one loves me anymore. Okay, okay, stop. I know Jesus loves me. Even if the world does not love me. I know he loves me. As long as he loves me, you know what? I'm giving my deaf ear to everyone that says, I don't like you or I don't love you or you are, you know what? I, I don't want to deal with you because you go to church. You know, and you will see that sometimes when you're older enough and you will see and encounter some people in your life. I'm talking to that side and they will tell you exactly, I don't want to deal with you because you're climbing up above people's opinion to meet him and that's what you need sometimes to rise above everyone else's opinion for you to meet him and what happened there so the story continues guys and girls so Zacchaeus climbed that tree right the sycamore tree to meet who to see Jesus, yes. And what happened there? What did Jesus do? Jesus was passing by and he looked at Zacchaeus. The same way, the same way he looks at you, 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 both of you here and me and says, guess what? He told him, Zacchaeus, come down because I am coming to your house today. How beautiful is this? Imagine Jesus coming to your house today. Oh boy, your mom will do all the biryani and the dolma she can prepare, right? She can make everything possible. Bombard, exactly. She'll prepare everything because Jesus is coming to my house. And guess what? Jesus likes these kind of things? Maybe, I don't know. But Jesus likes one thing only. He likes your heart. He loves you. He loves you, 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 you. And he wants to stay at your house. And your house is your heart. And keep that heart always available for him. Keep that heart always, always ready to be a house that can welcome him. And what happened in Zacchaeus' lives? Was he a bad man after that? His life changed. His life changed completely. From one person that he has done some bad things to another, pre, to another person that he has been doing great and amazing things. Now, your job at this summer camp, now Jesus came and visited you. Jesus came and visited your heart. Are you ready to change the bad things? that you were complaining about before summer camp. Are you ready? 
Because now, because if you're a complainer, you complain about everything and anything, you gotta stop that. Do you complain? Okay, I, I may ask your parents after Mass. Sometimes, yes, we all complain. Now, the other thing is, are you mean sometimes? Now, the other thing is, do you cry a lot? The other thing is, are you lazy? Do you do your homework? Are you good at school? Do you lie? Do you steal? Are you respectful to your elders? Are you respectful at church? Do you pray? How hard do you pray? Okay, now all of these things, now there are a lot, a lot, a lot of things in our lives. There's like before summer camp and after summer camp, before mass and after mass, what do I need to change in my life? Don't say what you need to change between you and yourself. So if I complain about that broccoli on that table, I should stop doing that. If I complain about the food on the table, let me remember God, there are a lot of people who are starving around the world. There are a lot of people your age don't have probably 10% of what you have. Probably they have one pair of shoes for the rest for three, four years and they cannot afford to buy new shoes. There are a lot of people don't have this gift of electricity or the air condition or the heat. There are some children just like you right now on the streets in the world. They don't have homes. They don't have parents. They don't have anything at home to go back to. A lot of kids in the world that wake up in the morning, actually, they don't even have breakfast. Can you imagine that? A lot of people in the world, they don't even have lunch or dinner. A lot of people in the world, they don't even have bed to sleep on, a mattress to sleep on. And guess what? We need to remind ourselves all the time. We should stop complaining about everything about anything and we should actually have that heart of Zacchaeus our friend right to always look at Jesus say Jesus as long as I have you I don't care about anything Jesus as long as I have you if my mom and dad don't have enough for this Christmas to get me what I want Jesus as long as as I have you it's okay and this is exactly what you need to learn from this summer camp. To trust in yourself. No. To trust Him. That's what Zacchaeus did. He trusted Him and Him alone. So, a beautiful story from our man, Zacchaeus. He's a beautiful soul. Okay, just like your beautiful soul who can do everything because you have Jesus. Now, do you have Jesus? Do you have Jesus? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen.